Here we have our standard up-down controls. It is spring-loaded, so you'll notice as I release it in either the up or down direction, it'll return to the neutral position, at which point you will not have any operation of the hoist. To the right, we have our e-stop. When our e-stop is pressed, you'll notice that we go from a solid green to a uh, blinking green light, and we will no longer have function in the up or down direction with our control switch. In order to disengage our e-stop, we'll turn to clockwise and it'll pop out on its own. And again, you'll see that we'll return to the solid green, which allows us to have up and down function again. So this is our compact model. This one particularly is the Compact 1250. It comes with two components. We have our Skylock, which is our overspeed device. Uh, if there, if to ever experience a fall where the rope falls through this at the rate of 75 feet a minute, this will engage the rope and it will arrest your downward travel. If for any reason this does engage, the first thing you're going to have to do is run in the up direction. Once you take the tension off the skylock and put it back on the gearbox, you go ahead and take your long silver reset handle, pull it clockwise until you hear it click, and then you'll be able to run down uh, again. Now this runs about 75 feet a minute. Our hoist itself runs approximately 35 feet a minute. In order to read the hoist, we want to ensure first that our skylock is in the set position. So our wire rope will actually run through the skylock. You'll feed it to the top side. You want to ensure that the brazed end is being fed through. Once through the skylock, there's a hole in the entrance block of the gearbox. You'll feed it through there as well. Feed it in until you can't go any further, at which point you'll run in the up direction. They are self-reaving, so once you get to that point, it'll pull itself around. The wire rope will exit on the back side, so ensure that there are no obstructions on the back side. So if for any reason uh, you are to experience an arrest where your Skylock does lock up on the jaws, as you'll notice too, you can manually trip this just as I did as you're coming in the down direction. You'll notice once it is locked up, if I continue to run in the down direction, the wire rope is just going to feed out of the gearbox. In order to reset this, we'll run the hoist up until the tension is back under the gearbox and you'll notice there's some play in the skylock now. And again, we'll take that long silver reset handle, pull it in the clockwise position, at which point, at which point I'll be able to run in the down direction. If we were ever to experience a no power situation, we have a controlled descent lever right above the brake sticking out of the fan cover. Once there's no power, if you need to come down, you go ahead and pull that controlled descent lever, and you'll come down at a normal rate of speed. If we're in a no powered situation and our Skylock is tripped, on the bottom side of the gearbox, we have our emergency hand wheel. We'll unscrew that. There is an opening on the fan cover the emergency hand wheel is slotted, so it'll fit over that fan cover and it'll sit on a roll pin that sticks through that shaft. And what we'll have to do is in sync, we'll pull our emergency, or excuse me, our controlled descent, turn our emergency hand wheel to manually crank ourselves up, at which point we can then go ahead and reset the skylock, pull our handle out, and continue to come down with our controlled descent lever. On the back side of each hoist is a standard pendant control port. You can unscrew your cap. When you're in standard operation, you want to make sure this cap is in. 
There are jumpers on the inside of that cap that complete your control circuit. When this is undone, I do not have function to my up-down controls. On the newer models, this light will blink green. On the older models, the light will shut off completely. Once I unscrewed the cap, I can go ahead and put my pendant in. Screw it on. And then I'll be able to run my hoist from a pistol grip style pendant or we can use a jumper to lead to a CCB, a central control box, to be able to operate multiple hoists from one box. With these, when you hit the e-stop, as would be standard from when you hit the e-stop on the hoist itself, you will not have up-down function. On the newer models, again, when you hit the e-stop, the light will flash green. On the older models, when you hit the e-stop from the pendant, the light will shut off.